Authorities have released footage from the 2022 school shooting in Uvalde, Texas, that police originally failed to make public. The videos released Tuesday show officers scrambling to treat victims and parents running near the building outside Robb Elementary School. Police have said the additional videos were discovered days after a large collection of audio and video recordings were released in August. The delayed law enforcement response to the shooting has been widely condemned as a massive failure. Nearly 400 officers waited more than 70 minutes before confronting the gunman in a fourth-grade classroom filled with dead and wounded children and teachers. Victim. Hey, grab my rifle. I'm going to help. I'm going to help. I don't know. Who's hit? Who's hit? Who's hit? Who's hit? Hey, what's up? Yeah, but imagine when just kids. <laughs> it's fucked up, man. <laughs> There's a lot, man. I just never thought shit like that would happen here. Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump on Monday paid tribute to those killed in the October 7 attack on Israel as the world marked one year since the deadliest attack in Israel's history. Speaking at a remembrance event at his Doral Golf Resort in Miami, Trump told those gathered the threat of Hurricane Milton might have kept him away. I think I'm the only person who flew into Florida today, Trump said at the outset of his remarks. I wouldn't have missed it, regardless. Milton, a Category 5 hurricane, could come ashore Wednesday in the Tampa Bay region. Jewish community leaders, Republican members of Congress and others, including three Holocaust survivors, were called to the stage to light candles in memory of those killed during the attack a year ago. There's a very violent hurricane that's coming down the line and it's a category five which is something that i've never heard a category five actually coming onto land but it looks like it's going to and right smack in the middle of florida nobody's seen a line like that and it's heading there quickly i have to tell you that i called miriam i said i was in new york and i said miriam uh, maybe i shouldn't be flying i think i'm the only person that flew down to florida tonight because i didn't have a chance with her so, you know i said Miriam, maybe uh, I should stay back and, you know, heading into a hurricane, Miriam. It made no difference. No, no, you have to be here. Our friends are there. And I said, OK, when you say that, I'm going to be there 100 percent. I'm going to be there. I was watching the airplane highways and they were all heading this way as I was going that way. They said, what's he doing? But I wouldn't have missed this regardless. I wouldn't have missed this for anything. This is a very special time and it's a very special day. This is the day we have to do it. This was the day we had to do it. We don't have to postpone it for a week. This is the day because I'm looking forward to coming back and maybe seeing all of these seats filled up the next time. That's what I want. Yeah, that's what we want. So we're praying for Florida and we hope everyone is safe and we're playing praying for uh, North Carolina and all of the different places. You look at Georgia and Alabama and Tennessee and South Carolina and Florida. It's uh, amazing. This has been an amazing period of time, but uh, the response has been very weak, unbelievably weak. Nobody's ever seen such a weak response, so we have to get a strong response. And now we have another one coming, and it looks like it's going to be a whopper.
So we're here this evening in solemn remembrance of one of the darkest hours in all of human history. One year ago today, every civilized person was filled with shock and horror and grief at the news of an evil and so absolute that and nobody's have seen, nobody's seen anything like it. Nobody's seen anything that it really can barely be described. You can't describe it. October 7th was not just the deadliest day for the Jewish people since the Holocaust. It was not just the worst terror attack since 9-11. It was an attack on humanity itself. It was a hideous, incredible cruelty. It was chilling savagery. It was demonic delight and the destruction of innocent life on October 7th. It seemed as if the gates of hell had sprung open and unleash their horrors onto the world, and that's exactly what happened. What a moment in time, what a moment in horrible history, horrible history. Today we mourn more than 1,200 innocent victims of the October 7th attacks, whose memory we honor with 1,200 beautiful individual candles, and we honor them with grace and with gratitude for their lives and for their families, what their families have gone through. and. Maybe we'll have a moment of silence, please. President of America will have again, God willing, come January.